I have covered Llama.cpp on the channel a lot. Not only Llama.cpp, but many of the tools which are based on this venerable Llama CPP library. This is one of the oldest and vanilla way to do inference locally with your large language models. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to get it installed on any operating system. I will be installing it on Linux, but you can follow the same steps anywhere, whether it is Mac OS, any flavor of Linux or even Windows. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now, coming back to this llama.cpp, if you don't know this, then the main goal of llama.cpp is to enable LLM inference with minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on a wide variety of hardware locally and even in the cloud. This is primarily a plain C, C++ implementation without any dependencies. Also, you can use it on Apple Silicon because it is optimized via ARM Neon and also it supports Accelerate and Metal frameworks. You can also have AVX and AVX2 support for XTTX architecture. You can run any quantization from 1.5 bit to 8 bit integer for faster inference and reduced memory usage. You can even use it with custom CUDA kernels for running LLMs on NVIDIA GPUs. It even has AMD GPU support via HIP. You can run it on Vulkan and uh, CY, SYCL backend support. Also, it supports CPU plus GPU hybrid inference to partially accelerate more models larger than the total VRAM capacity. Since its start, the project has improved significantly. So you can now have many models you can run on it from Llama, uh, Mistral, DBRX, Falcon, even Chinese Llamas, Birds, MPT, Bloom, Xi, DeepSeek, Phi, Mamba, Jamma. Grok and C line and the list goes on and on and on. So it is quite good. You can even run the multimodals model in it. And then we have various bindings. We already have covered Llama CPP Python on the channel. You can run it with Node.js, TypeScript, JavaScript, Ruby, Rust, C Sharp, Java, Flutter, and the list goes on and on. And you know that we have been using LM Studio a lot on the channel, which is a GUI based system to run models that LM Studio is a GUI wrapper around this Llama CPP. You can even run embedded models with it. Okay, enough talk. Let me take you to my local system where I'm going to show you the installation. So this is my Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to install this llama.cpp locally let me show you a very quick and easy way first up let's go to github repo of llama.cpp and i will drop the link to it in video description scroll up and you will see that there are few releases and you see how many releases are, are there more than 2000 and the latest release was just two hours ago anyway so let's go to releases page when you will go there the latest one you will see that there are already pre-built binaries so i would highly suggest instead of building your own and then tinkering with a lot of prerequisites just go there search for your operating system for example for windows these are the two one is for cuda 11.7 and cuda 12.2 and you can just run that nvidia dash smi command to run your cuda version and i will also show you for ubuntu use this for mac use this and then so on and so forth so i have ubuntu so i'm just going to right click on this one and grab the link of this file then let's go back there and then let me sorry i think i didn't copy it. Uh, the link i mean let me copy the link quickly let me take you back to my terminal and here simply type wget and your link and then um, press enter here and it has saved it locally and then you can check it if you like llama dash b and then this is a zip file 
so i will suggest that you create a new directory maybe llc ppp whatever you like and move this file zip file to this new directory and then press enter let's go into this directory and let me clear the screen let me show you the file and now simply do a llama and press enter it is going to inflate it then there should be a build folder let's do ls-ltr there is a build directory to ls here then go to bin and then clear the screen let me show you in the bin one so this is the beauty of llama cpp there are a lot of things we, you can do with it you can do fine tuning you can run gguf auto release lot of stuff but we want to do inference now for inference of course you need a model so where do you get the model let me take you back to my browser now go to hugging face search for any gguf file then on the model card click on files and version and you will see there are a lot of gguf files so for example you want to run this q4km this one click on it and then you see there is a download button here right click and grab that link once you grab that link let's go back to the terminal in the terminal let me to pwd here present working directory let me go to cd and then i already have created a directory called as my models and then simply do wget and then pass to that model file and press enter it is going to download that model here i already have downloaded just to save time let me quickly show you so this is my file which i already have downloaded now let's go back to that bin directory where we have installed our llama cpp now in order to do the inference let's do this command let me clear the screen here and then i'm going to run this command so you see i am just simply using llama dash cli dash m dash m is for model this is a full pass to my model my un 1.5 4 billion chat model with the quantization level of q4 and then i am just this p is for prompt i'm asking it what is prompt let's press enter here you see it is just loading all the models config here that let me scroll up sorry so you see that this is a model loader this is a kv cache these are the layers how much quantization is there what is the tokenizer bedding layer head logit scale lot of stuff and then you see it has already given us all the information and now it is telling us what is happiness so this is how simple it is to do the local inference after installing llama.cpp on your local system so that's it guys i hope that you found it interesting and valuable let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching